Now, as we are done with all our configuration setting, master data and output determination, and we have also created the condition record. Now let's create a purchase order and check whether the ILOG is getting generated or not. Create the POVT code ME21N. Select the PO type for which we have created a condition record. Enter the vendor ID. Enter purchase of purchasing group. And enter all the required data based on the configuration of this PO type because based on this PO type, some field may be mandatory in your system. Now we'll enter the material code here for which we have created the info record. Quantity as 15, plant 9105. So here you can see vendor material number. Based on the material vendor info record, system has automatically take up this material code here. So in the vendor system, a sales order will be created with this metal ID. Let's check based on our configuration whether the message type is determined or not as EDI. If you go to messages, here we can see the output type NU is determined with the medium as 6. Check the PO. All looks good. Click on save. So here we can see the purchase order number ending with 148.77 is created. Let's go and check whether the IDOC is created or not. To check the IDOC, the code is WE02. Today's date. Execute. Here we can see the first one. The status is success and the IDOC number is ending with 6017. For this vendor ID 103421, basic type order 05. And it is in green. That is, it is created successfully. Forget about second one as of now. Check only first one. Don't click here. In the control record, we can see all the administrative data that is basic type, message type, partner to which the IDOG is triggered, port number, partner function. All these details are maintained here. Go back, expand data record, click here. Here we can see the purchase order which we just created. Go to ME23N. Open the purchase order. The same purchase order is here. Your quantity is 15. So here we can see the purchase order is created successfully and the IDOC is generated. The status record is 03, that is data passed successfully. Expand this. Here we can see the purchase order number. Okay, there is a purchase order number here. So only in the state number 1 we can see. If it is not 03, this means that some errors are there. So now it is in green status and you can see it is successfully passed. This means that all the configuration which we have done are working fine. So in this way, we have done with the first section that is configuration of EDI ADOP to trigger the ADOP whenever a purchase order is created. Next, we'll learn how to create a sales order in the receiver system based on this purchase order details that we'll see in the next session.